सो दिस इज लेक्चर ट्वेंटी टू पैरासूटिस्ट इज देयर अ पर्सन हु इज़ यूजिंग पैरासूट दैट वी कॉल एज पैराशूटिस्ट सो पैरासूटिस्ट बेल्स आउट बेल्स आउट मीन्स इट इज़ जम्पिंग आउट ऑफ द एरोप्लेन यूजिंग पैरासूट दैट वी कॉल एज बेल्स आउट अ पैरासूटिस्ट इज़ अ पर्सन विच इज हु इज लाइक बेल्स आउट फ्राम एन एरोप्लेन ओके एंड आफ्टर ड्रॉपिंग थ्रू अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फोर्टी मीटर इट्स लाइक फॉर फोर्टी मीटर्स ही वॉज फॉलिंग आफ्टर फॉलिंग फोर्टी मीटर he opens the parachute guys you may be knowing uh, you may have seen in some videos when people are jumping from the aeroplane immediately they don't open the parachute they take some time they fall for certain height after that only they open the parachute so when they open the parachute then they don't fall very fast they fall slowly and you know what when they fall their speed will decrease because of the de acceleration of the parachute negative acceleration i will explain in the solution don't worry and de accelerates at 2 meter per second square so why this 2 meter per second square how to feel this physically don't worry i will explain if he reaches the ground with speed of 2 meter per second so it means what when he is landing on the ground that time the speed is given as 2 meter per second means he, when the moment when he is touching the ground okay after falling throughout the height that last moment when he is touching the ground that speed is 2 meter per second how long is he in the air how long means for how much time he was in the air actually many students may not understand the meaning of how long so you may be knowing when we chat with our old friends after long time so we say uh, it's been so long okay there is one song also it's been so long so so long means long means it represent time it does not represent length okay it represent time you may be knowing this song it's been so long 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 some so uh, uh, i have not seen your face i haven't seen your face this kind of song is there okay at what height did he bail out from the plane two things we have to calculate one thing how much time and next thing at what height okay so how much time that how long and at what height two things we have to understand so let's understand the question first actually the question is this aircraft suppose this is a aeroplane aeroplane is going in this direction okay now a person is falling from the parachute sorry from the aeroplane using parachute so when a uh, person is falling 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 so suppose after falling this much height only the person is opening his parachute okay after that what will happen understand from here to here when the person will fall that time person will not be having any negative acceleration this journey will be free fall so in case of free fall when person is jumping out of the aeroplane you will consider free fall initial velocity zero okay and during free, free fall you will be using gravitational acceleration g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square okay make sure when you will cover this 40 meter distance it is mentioned in the question then you will reach here so at this altitude at this height what will be your velocity earth is still here you have not reached to the earth earth is here earth surface is here so exactly at this suppose you'll be having velocity v our first job is we should know like what will be velocity here v like after falling 40 meter so how will you calculate that velocity idea is very simple use the third equation of motion why third equation because what kind of data is given according to that only third equation is suitable so third equation of motion is v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s okay some people can write this equation v square is equal to u square plus 2 g h okay both are same because variable does not matter so v is the last velocity which is here and u is your initial velocity it will go to uh, zero so 2 into g velocity g is 9.8 meter per second square and height is given as 40 so when you will solve this velocity you will come to know how much velocity is coming so that velocity means uh, when you will solve this it will come as 28 okay uh, final velocity 
the final velocity after taking a square root exactly the final one i'm talking v because see here me, you may do mistake you may think square but we don't have to find square is this much we have to find out square root then your v will come 28 and of course unit will come as uh, 28 meter per second now you guys can verify this solution by yourself okay pause the video solve this find the square root then only you should watch the video again further okay v you value you got now can you calculate time also in this journey can we calculate yes of course we can calculate but how can we calculate time also in this journey do we have any formula yes of course now we know the final speed here we know initial speed here we know g value here we can calculate the time as well okay now you have two ways to calculate the time see one student can apply uh, v is equal to u plus at formula another student can apply s is equal to ut plus half at square okay now see if you want to apply this equation that time you will be using your distance as 40 meter because data is given so both you can apply and initial part you will put zero because initial velocity is zero okay then acceleration you'll be using as 9.8 so t square you can find out so this will be little bit complicated because again you have to use the square part so you have to find out the square root square root so it's better to use the this equation why are we using this equation because already we have calculated final speed so that v value is substitute here u value will be 0 and gt so i am using direct equation v is equal to u plus gt in this equation i am going to write v uh, v as uh, 28 v as 28 and u value as 0 so 0 i'm not writing gt is there so g value we know 9.8 t value you can find out now see because this journey is different journey without parachute and after that parachute was open so for this journey i will be using different time and different variables so this t i am saying as t1 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 is that time which is uh, taking during free fall okay we have taken t1 t1 is uh, 28 by 9.8 when you will solve this then you'll be getting your final answer so your final answer is 2.8 second for the t1 t1 alone guys t1 alone okay now why i have taken 2.8 directly because 9.8 9.8 is roughly equal to 10 so just to make my calculation fast i got this idea 28 divided by 8 i am getting 2.8 i hope it's clear okay so t1 part is clear now see how much we have solved this was the aeroplane okay so after falling by uh, 40 meter sorry uh, 20 meter how much yeah 40 meter height uh, we have got our last velocity here this velocity was 28 meter and we have got in this time we have traveled for 2.8 second so we got our second also we got our height also and we got our 28 meter after that parachute is open so when parachute is open then you will not fall with the same gravity you will not fall with the same gravity why you why will you not fall with the same gravity because understand see here when object is falling freely okay without parachute that time acceleration will be acting downward okay but when object is falling using parachute okay then because of parachute you will be having extra force in upward direction because of parachute that we call as lift lift force okay so this force f this force f is acting in upward direction okay and here you have the gravity this gravity if you multiply with the mass you can convert into extra force so now two forces are acting one force is this and one force is this but problem is even though force is acting upward and downward but they have given us parachute is deaccelerating parachute is deaccelerating deaccelerating means final acceleration is upward but velocity is downward you understand this logic it is complicated but it is very very uh, easy to understand see here imagine one basic concept basic concept related uh, velocity and acceleration see if velocity is also downward and acceleration is also downward then your velocity will keep on increasing keep on increasing but if your velocity is downward and your acceleration is upward in that case slowly 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 your velocity will decrease and it will become zero somewhere somewhere we are not sure where but somewhere okay and just oppose it also if your acceleration is downward but velocity is upward like when we throw any object upward then velocity is upward but uh, acceleration is downward in that case also your velocity will decrease and slowly 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 it will become at certain height so my point is 
your speed will increase if and only if your velocity and acceleration both are in same direction then only your speed will increase okay uh, i will teach you all these things slowly slowly uh, so that's why i have using standard questions so that i can uh, uh, explain numericals also and i can explain important logics also so i hope this part is clear so in this case when velocity and acceleration both are downward then your velocity will keep on increasing and in this case when velocity is downward but acceleration is upward your velocity will slowly slowly it will decrease okay always remember if acceleration is given you can think about acceleration after multiplying mass also okay but the entire quantity will convert into force so with the help of force some people can understand okay uh, anyway these things very properly i will explain in laws of motion so very soon i will come to that chapter also laws of motion uh, now next part you understand the first part over first part means this part over now in the second part they are saying ball is falling sorry parachute is uh, I, i mean the person is falling downward and it is reaching to the ground and when it is hitting the ground when it is touching the ground that time it is having some velocity that velocity is 2 meter per second now understand my point here after falling for 40 meters velocity was 28 meter per second but then they started the parachute they deployed the parachute after that velocity is when they are touching the ground 2 meter you can 2 meter per second you can clearly see velocity has decreased i will explain again aeroplane from aeroplane you are falling for 40 meter so here your speed was zero but here you have got a speed 28 meter per second okay so from zero to 28 meter per second you can see your velocity was increasing okay because your acceleration was nothing but gravity under gravity so g value that was 9.81 but see when you are then you are uh, deploying the parachute so when you are deploying the parachute then you are reaching uh, to the earth surface but when you are reaching to the earth surface that time this velocity is not increasing and being 100 or something else it is not increasing it is decreasing actually velocity is decreasing and being final velocity v dash suppose v dash and this value is coming 2 meter per second you can clearly see this velocity and this velocity so this velocity at the surface at the ground at the surface is less it means what velocity was decreasing and velocity will decrease only in one case when acceleration is opposite of the velocity correct so acceleration was upward how much acceleration was there how much acceleration was there that acceleration they they have told us because see clearly you understand velocity is decreasing then only from 28 we are remaining with 2 velocity is decreasing clearly velocity is decreasing so what type of equation we should apply here so first of all we are going to find out this time t2 so apply this equation v is equal to u plus at but careful here why careful because this velocity this velocity you focus this is 2 this is 28 but big mistake students will do here they should put minus sign why because this acceleration actually negative right because it is deaccelerating so they should write minus 2 into time t2 now you will not do mistake okay now see one one more thing guys understand suppose this is your any initial velocity in this initial velocity if you will add any term then definitely final velocity will go more it will be more if you are adding so that term is at but suppose you have any initial velocity in this term if you are subtracting any term at then only initial velocity will be zero that's why this is how we think about the acceleration we should put minus sign or we should put plus sign here okay so acceleration was given as uh, deceleration so that's why i am using minus 2 so we got our final velocity 2 i hope it's clear if you have any doubt just join my whatsapp group using whatsapp link whatsapp link i have given uh, some students have already joined you can also join and then you can ask me your doubts on whatsapp on that doubt also i will explain there on whatsapp itself or if it will be a good doubt i will explain in next video now see here v dash part clear uh okay don't miss the whatsapp group join using whatsapp group so v dash is equal to 2 clear uh we are going to apply this equation what i have explained here so in this equation i will find out t2 so you can clearly see 2 is equal to 28 minus 2 t2 so t2 i am finding out only for the remaining journey this is my t2 so let's calculate t2 so you can clearly see uh, it will be like 2 t2 is equal to 28 minus 2 so 28 minus 2 will be 26 and uh, so t2 will come as 13 
so 13 second 13 second i got my t2 so it means what uh, here i got like from here to here i got t1 that was a uh, how much t1 was i have calculated here right 2.8 so this t1 was 2.8 and uh, this t2 is 13 so total journey t1 plus t2 so this much total time so the question was like how long you can clearly see how long so how long means the total time t is equal to t1 plus t2 so 2.8 plus uh, 13 it is going to be 15.8 seconds for this much second uh, the entire uh, parachute was in the air sorry entire person was in the air clear totally clear but they are also asking uh, for uh, how much uh, uh, second one uh, at what height did he bail out the uh, bail out from the plane okay now they are asking at what height did he bail out of the plane it means height through which parachute has fallen that height we need to calculate height through which parachute has fallen so now again you understand suppose this is the ground from here person is falling so it will fall for 40 meter but will also fall for this h height this 40 meter is clear this head h height uh, where you had acceleration uh, minus 2 okay in this journey this height also you have to calculate so how to calculate this height also so 40 meter is already there this height we have to calculate so there are so many ways to calculate this height best way is in this journey here you know the velocity was 28 and here your velocity is 2 and how much acceleration you have minus 2 okay so you apply the third equation v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s some people can write this as v square is equal to u square plus 2 g h but this time big mistake don't use g so you should use this equation because it is not free fall condition it is not free fall condition here acceleration value is given separately so you should use this format in this format this s value will be your height value what i'm going to calculate here so the v square value is very very easy value that is given as this 2 that is the final speed so 2 square is equal to initial value is 28 because uh, when parachute was open when parachute was deployed that time your velocity was 28 so that you will use as your initial velocity for this journey so 28 is square plus 2 into 2 by acceleration and big mistake i will tell you what is that mistake you should put here minus sign because acceleration is negative into height h so you should use minus sign so after that you have to solve the numerical so this h will come as 195 okay so so this is 40 and this is 195 so at what height parachute person was came out parachutist was came out from the aeroplane they are asking the total height like this height you can see the question question is at what height did he bail out from the plane it means what the total final height they are asking so this was the aeroplane and it fall down for 40 meter then parachute was open then further fall down for some h meter just now we calculated 195 so from the earth surface aeroplane was at how much height that is the main question so you will add 40 plus 195 this is going to be 235 i hope it's totally clear let's meet in next video with very good question